What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica Below Zero. Last episode, we left off right here facing against... Is it the Shadow Leviathan? Is that what this one is? I can't remember the name of it. We left off right here, and we're going to continue. We're going to progress, and we're going to see what we do. Um, I'm a little scared, honestly. Actually, what are we at depth-wise? 532 out of 700. Maybe it would be better to go back, get the upgrades, and get the stuff, and then come back with... Yeah, let's go. Let's just do it. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Before we go, we're going to wait for... Um, we're going to wait for that guy to swim by, and then we're going to kind of, like, follow it, hopefully. Okay. All right, all right, we're going in. We're going in. Bad idea. I'm calling it a bad idea right now. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is near. Oh yeah? No way. Did not know that. Didn't see it, nothing. Okay, um, ooh, ooh, there's an arm. There's a torpedo arm. There's piece of lithium. There's a torpedo arm. Uh, there's some gold. Okay, let's, let's get over here. I want to get away from the path of it before I go try to scan anything. I also don't really want these guys attacking me while I'm... Oh, actually. Well, hold on a second. There's a... There's an arm right there. There's an arm right here. This might be an okay spot. All right, let's 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 look. Let's wait. And let's see if uh, if this is a decent spot for us to kind of kind of hang out, get out, go scan and do the things. Oh, I'm so excited. Hopefully you guys are too. If you do, make sure you leave a like on the video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully get some arms. Hopefully get some arms. You know, I'm not actually even seeing it. Like, it might be taking a path that we can't even see right now. So, I should be able to grab this arm and that arm. That's going to be that's gonna be the two torpedo arms that I need. Um, I was really hoping to get the grapple arm, too, here at some point. All right, let's just do it. Let's go scan. Okay, here's the torpedo arm. Okay, we got the torpedo arm. So, I don't actually even need that one over there. Okay. Uh, what are the blueprint until we start working on for the prawn suit? Because there, there was another, like, arm. The prawn suit propulsion cannon. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, let's press on. Let's keep going this way, and let's see what we can find. There's another torpedo arm. The propulsion one might be good. Tons of lithium down here. Oh, oh, propulsion cannon arm right there. Heck yes. Uh, what is this? Copper. You know what? I am going to actually take some copper because we're like super low on copper. I always have to go out and try to find this stuff. All right, we got a thing of copper. Uh, here's the other propulsion cannon arm that I want. Uh, we might have to go look around. Okay, let's grab this guy real quick. All right, looking good, looking good. Now, what do we need? Okay, so I have four kyanite crystals right now. If I want the depth module, oh, it's not gonna tell me depth module mark two, is it? You took depth module mark two, prawn suit depth module mark two is one kyanite nickel. So I actually need nickel. Hmm. Depth module mark three is two kyanite with more nickel. So I need a bunch more nickel. Actually, it looks like we're, we're gonna have enough to get the mark three and the mark two. As long as I can find the nickel. So we gotta go out. We gotta make sure we find the nickel. Uh, I'm finding lithium everywhere. Which is all fine and dandy, but I really, I really need that nickel. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna work our way back. What's that? That's a, that's another torpedo arm fragment. What is up here? Is there another way into this area? You know, I definitely feel like there's another way into this area. Okay, so I, twi I see like twisty vines and bridges and stuff like that. I need to put a beacon over here because this would be, if we had to go this way, that'd be a little bit better than having to deal with that Leviathan every single time, right? Maybe, where are we? You know what, I don't care, let's keep let's keep looking down here first. I don't I don't wanna go back up yet. I wanna, I wanna find more stuff. We need more nickel specifically. Oh, there's another fragment. Um, I think we are good on that though, aren't we? Yes, propulsion cannon fragment, perfect. Uh, propulsion cannon designed to fit the Altair's prawn suit. Fantastic, I really, really want the grappling one. I don't know why I haven't been able to find that yet. All right, so I know. Oh, there's kyanite crystals right there. Uh, okay, let's pop down here real quick and let's go grab this kyanite crystal. Super scared. Super sketch. Okay, we got it. Uh, more lithium. <laughs> I'm probably good on lithium now. All right, let's let's go down. Let's go down here again. All right, so the the Leviathan's right over there. So let's try to make our way maybe this way and kind of figure out if I can find. We need more nickel. Oh, maybe down there? Maybe down here? I can see another propulsion cannon fragment. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. It goes right down there, too. Oh, no. Does it go right down here? Yes, it does. Okay, if we jump down there, we got to bail. Like, quickly. All right, let's do it right now. 
Don't even think about it. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Okay. All right. We got to go. I need nickel. We need to find nickel. Okay. It looks like it comes in through here and then like back up through there. All right. So if we press on this way, maybe we'll get lucky and find some nickel. I can't go too much deeper though. Uh, there's another torpedo fragment. I will take the kyanite crystals though, because I think there's other upgrades that require these as well. All right. That looks all good. I still can't believe out of all of these arms, where is the grappling arm? Okay. I can't go much deeper than this. Um, which means there's got to be... Oh my god. There's another Reaper. Another Leviathan. Uh, I need the... <laughs> I need the nickel. I can't even make my upgrades until I get the nickel. I have one piece of it that I found on the ground. So I don't really know where to get the nickel from. Just waiting for this Leviathan to nonchalantly cruise by. Oh, there he is. Oh no, you don't. Come on! You can't even fit in here! Haha! <laughs> you can't even get me! You can't even get me, you dummy. That's right. That's right! You get your squid self, you snaky, nasty butt out of here! Couldn't even get me in here. <laughs> Beat it, nerd! Beat it! Alright, let's go in here now. Where are you going? Is it literally just circling right here? It does appear like it is, and I can't really go any deeper because if I fall through a hole and start taking damage, my prawn suit's gonna get destroyed like immediately. There's gotta be, there's gotta be nickel around here somewhere. I, that's titanium. That's not nickel. Oh, it kind of left that way. Oh, it's back. It's back. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go take a peek over here. Let's see if we can't maybe find something laying on the ground or something. That's how I found my first one. Oh, is this piece of nickel right here? Oh, <gasps> yes. We found one. Okay, I have two <laughs> I have two pieces of nickel now. Uh right? Yeah, because I have one in here, I have one in my inventory. Oh, and I need how many pieces of nickel do I need? Well, hold on a second. If I wanted to build these, okay, I don't need that for that. I don't need it for that for that. Vortex torpedo. Don't need that. I need five. I think I need five pieces of nickel in total. So if I can search this area and possibly find five pieces of nickel, that'd be great. Now, I would go down here, but I don't know if this is going to be too deep or not. Let's see what happens. Yes, that is too deep. We cannot go down there. I think that might have been a piece of nickel chilling there, though. Let's go. Let's go see if that was what that was. Yes, it is. The crystals in this environment are <gasps> confusing my senses. Oh. And yet I feel certain there is something important below. A facility oh. or a body component. Well, perhaps a captain. I cannot tell. Oh, there's something important down here. I knew it. I knew there's something important down here. That's why it's so shiny and hard to get to. And Reaper Le and Leviathan things that want to eat your face off every round around every corner. Like they just want to do the things. I knew it. I knew it'd be important. Oh, is there more nickel right here? There is. Okay, I need five pieces in total. I now have, I don't know, four, three, one, two, three. I think I have three. Okay, I have what I need. I have what I need. I have the goods. Um, we need to get out of here though. We need to leave. We have to go back. We've got to build the sea truck deal to hold the prawn suit so we can bring it over here. We got to build the depth modules. We got to build the arm. Uh, I don't know if I want a torpedo arm or a repulsion arm. I feel like the repulsion one might be great. Um, I'd also really like to get a uh, another one of the ion batteries. I think that'd be super handy. We do have another ion cell, I'm hoping. Yeah, we do. So we should be able to make one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna try to figure out my way back out of here and maybe figure out how to uh, how to come in from this one side, because this side over here seemed like it might be a little bit easier to get back and forth from. Oh, I see him. I see him. It sees me. It does not see me. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta get out of here. I gotta go like up right here. Okay, are you gonna be gone? You're gonna be gone. Okay. Right, let's go. We gotta get out of here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. There's a trench right here. Uh and I'm gonna be able to get out up here and then be able to go up this way. And I think. Yes, okay, good. Whew! Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. So let's get out of here. I wanna see where this takes us out at. Oh my gosh, this is Margaret's base. Margaret's base is right here. I literally just have to go down that hole right there. Wait, can I go in here now? Into your room? That you have? I don't know. Let's see. Is is your prawn suit back? Your prawn suit's back. Does that mean I can? Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Does that mean I can go in the door though? Like into the other room? 
Hello. You again. Hmm. Nothing? That's it? Can I go in here? Don't mind me. Going into your secret room. All right, let's scan everything. <laughs> Doesn't actually look like... <gasps> There's a fridge? What? No way. Wait, did I, can I make it? Oh, don't tell me I can't even make it. I can't even make the refrigerator. Are you kidding me? Vending? Oh, we can. <laughs> yes. Wait, so does it actually say that it keeps things good? Keeps food cold and prevents it from spoiling. <gasps> oh, that is nice. That is nice. Um, Is there seriously a toilet? I've been needing one of those forever. <laughs> And a sink? How come it's not giving me any notifications that I'm like actually getting this stuff? And a shower? <gasps> We're gonna be able to get clean. Can I build these though? Yep. Shower, sink, toilet. That is fantastic. That is super cool. Oh my gosh, we have more base upgrades. Oh, you have some batteries right here. Can I have those? No. Uh, anything good up here? This place is a mess. You should really uh, clean up after yourself, especially if you're like literally locked into this place with uh, by yourself all the time. There's a PDA here. I actually can't pick that up. So it kind of makes me think that this room may not be fully implemented yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else. Okay. I don't know. I guess things might not be fully implemented yet here because like none of that stuff said anything when I came in here. All right. Well, you have a wonderful day. Bye. All right. So this is Margaret's place. So we know how to get in and out of here. Can I take your sparrow suit? That would be fantastic. I'm not going to lie. That would be, that would be absolutely marvelous. Um, okay. So where is my, where's my prawn suit at? Prawn suit. Hey, there you are. Okay. All right, so do I have a mark to get in and out of here? Because I know I need to go that way. So let me see. Okay, basically opposite side of the moon pool into that direction right there. That'll bring us there. And then I think it's that way right there. All right, so if we come to this woman's last known position right on the other side of the rock, there's a tunnel that goes to her base. Okay. All right. So we have a way to kind of get there back and forth. Let's head back to our base. Let's get some upgrades on the sea truck. Let's get some upgrades on the prawn suit. This is exciting times. This is exciting times indeed. And we're back at base. So, you know, I'm thinking. I got to thinking, and I know that's a scary thought, but I got to thinking that I feel Welcome like aboard, Captain. we're going in pretty deep here. We're going in... Uh, to uncharted territories. Oh. Our searches have been useful. Uh oh. Ultimately, I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I uh -oh. cannot feel it. There could be uh -oh. a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4, and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. This isn't over yet. You are expressing optimism. Oh. But it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. What you are describing is merely survival instinct. Call it whatever you want, if it keeps you from lying down and giving up. My people do not lie down, if they still exist, which I cannot confirm. Welcome to life for the rest of us, Ellen. Most of us don't get to know what's happening in every timeline. We have to go along with things and believe in life's potential. Mm -hmm. How do you bear that? There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh... Oh, oh, right. Hope is the the thing with feathers. This what? does not match any <laughs> fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from an 18th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Ellen. Adding hope to your database. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so uh, that was an interesting conversation that we just had there. Very interesting convo indeed. Now, I am thinking we're about to go in to this place. 
We're about to go deep into this place. And I think we're going to need a home away from home. Oh, you're going to give me some titanium? <gasps> Thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, we're going to need a home, a home away from home. So I'm thinking we might need to throw some modules on here. I'm thinking we might need to do some upgrades. And I'm thinking that we need to do all of them. Uh, I think maybe I don't know what <laughs> what are all the modules that this thing can have hold on let me go look in here all right so we got the sea truck obviously aquarium module we might not need that one that one we might not need the docking module absolutely that needs to be on the back the fabricator module probably just in case we need to make anything the sleeper module I believe would let us respawn at this so that would be important and then the storage module of course we can store all of our food stuff there so that's huge and then Let's see, let's go in here. We're definitely going to need the horsepower upgrade for sure. Uh, we already have the, de the perimeter defense. We're going to need the depth modules, uh, but we're going to need the horsepower upgrade because if we're going to be pulling all this extra stuff. Like it's going to be going super slow and we just we absolutely have to have that. Oh, the prawn suit thermal reactor. Wait, is there a, is there a, a sea truck thermal reactor? I don't know. So we might have to grab that as well, because if we're going into hot areas, we don't want to be running out of power. I could probably get away with making this instead of another um, another power deal um but i should probably at least make another power deal for the c truck we already have that and i'm trying to decide if the propulsion cannon would be better than the torpedo arm i honestly think that this would be better because this creates a localized gravity distortion so i'm, I'm guessing that means that like it sucks things to it but this i could like shoot things to away from me you know what i mean that might we might be we might be going with that one all right so we need depth modules for sure let's actually start with that let's start with that let's start with the depth modules let me go grab this stuff out of here actually i'm going to put you on the charger and then we're going to grab the goods out of the back of it and hold on let me grab kyanite crystals and the nickel uh i guess i'll grab a copper too might as well and let's throw this guy up in here so you can get charged up ready to rock and roll wonderful wonderful and then we need to make a whole bunch of food of course seek fluid intake oh my goodness i'm just eating these salads Vital for fluids stabilizing. <laughs> that's all i need uh okay modification station so a prawn suit depth module mark two so i just need the mark one and then the sea truck depth module let's get the prawn suit depth, depth module first prawn suit depth module mark two that's gonna give us what 900 meter depth probably i feel like 900 was about wasn't that the max in the first Subnautica? Oh, it's 1,100 meters. Heck yes. Okay, so there's that. Uh, we need the uh, we need the the depth sea truck depth module. I need plasteel ingots. That should be fairly easy to make. We have a lot of lithium and a lot of diamond, but I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of titanium. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, I'm completely out of titanium already. Jeez Louise. All right, so I'm going to have to go around and grab some titanium. Actually, there's a lot of things that I can scan that'll give me two titanium every time uh, laying around here. So let's we'll grab those real quick. All right, so there's the plasteel ingot. Now we should be able to make our last depth module for the sea truck. Heck yes. Let me go grab that module out of it. All right, depth module mark three. Heck yes. That, I wonder what that's going to take us. Is that going to take us to 900? And then the prawn suit's 11? Or is it going to just be 11 and 11? I feel like it'd be kind of weird if they're both like exactly the same. But I mean, I guess. No, they're not. They're not. This one's going to be like 900 meters. Oh, it's a thousand. So it's, it's almost the same. That's not bad. Okay. So there's that. Now, depth modules are good to go what do we actually need for this guy i need a wiring kit and two polyaniline okay so let's um let's grab the stuff let's make the wiring kit and we'll do that all right so for that i need six mushrooms oh six mushrooms two salt and two gold actually you know what while we're here let's get uh let's get some seeds planted here there we go that way we at least have a few more coming in here two salts and two gold that would be everything yeah that's everything we need for that perfect okay and then it is over here this is going to give us the ability to recharge while sitting in a thermal area it doesn't stack okay cool um now it specifically says things that do not stack but it doesn't say sea truck horsepower upgrade well it says these ones don't stack either it doesn't say that so I wonder if we can stack multiples of those. Maybe we'll see. Okay, so let's get, uh, 
Access upgrades. Let's get a little recharge deal on here. Fantastic. And then we need the propulsion cannon. What do we need for that? Five titanium and a computer chip? That's too easy. All right, I think I have everything I need for prawn suit propulsion cannon. Yes. Please, let's go ahead and place this guy on here and check it out. All right, so upgrades, propulsion cannon, heck yes. Uh, okay, let's let's actually hop in here and check this guy out because I want to see. I honestly don't know if I've ever used a propulsion cannon on on uh, on the prawn suit. Interesting. Okay, so can I grab like? Uh, okay, we're f oh. All right, we're falling. Wait, can I grab that? What? And then, boom. <laughs> Wait, that gave us two pieces. Excuse me. Uh oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Darn it. Oh, that's kind of neato. Okay, hold on. Let me grab, <laughs> let me grab that. Uh, where'd that gold go? Uh, so that's pretty fun. And we're going to use that for hopefully some self-defense -ish, defense ish kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that looks good. I like it. I like it. All right. So, next thing I want for this guy, I really wish there was a jump jet upgrade and stuff like that. There used to be jump jet upgrades and I still haven't found a uh, a grappling arm yet. So, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But, okay, well, this guy is pretty much fully upgraded. The last thing I wanna do is, like I said, the ion stuff so what do i need for the ion power cell ion power cell is two ion batteries silicone rubber and a and a, a thing okay how many power cells do i even have now though i don't feel like i have very many no i don't have any more i literally only have the one um let's see if i have any in my my ion this thing what do i have in here no batteries food water stuff like that these are all rotten so those need to get dropped actually okay let's uh let's just pick this guy up interesting so i'm not gonna be able to does my uh let me check if my c truck has power cells in it or a power cell i thought i made one for each one no no i did not now i could take the ion battery out of the c glide that i'm currently in and we could turn that into a power cell that would probably well this guy recharges anyways though as long as I'm over by something hot, it'll sit there and we can chill and recharge. So that actually should be good. The one that actually needs the new power cell is the C truck. Let's do that. Let's make a power cell for the C truck. I'd like to have two. Yeah, let's pull that out. Um, and let's go ahead and make one battery, an ion battery. Where's the ion battery? So gold, silver, lithium. I have gold, I have silver, I don't have lithium. Now I do. All right, so we'll make this guy and then that's gonna get thrown into the uh, the C truck there. Oh, I have another ion battery right here. Heck yes. Okay, that's perfect because then I can throw one of them into, uh, that is fantastic. I did not realize I had that right there. I'm actually gonna dis deconstruct this guy. We're gonna take this with us. Um, that's fantastic. And then I needed what silicone rubber. Let's see. Do I have any silicone rubber? All right. Boom. Ion power cell ready to rock and roll. And we still have one in our, um, we still have a, a power cell in this guy, which is fantastic because we use this thing like more than anything. Uh, now we can go ahead and throw one in here. I wish this had the thermal reactor on it and I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't to be honest. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, it might be in the fabricator module. Ooh, now I think about it. It might be in the fabricator module that that could very well be. But you know what? That's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So we got this guy. Uh, this one's pretty much fully upgraded. There's not really any other upgrades that I'm I'm looking for for it. Uh, we've got the thermal reactor. We have the propulsion cannon. We have a drill arm. I'm not really I'm not really feeling the uh, the torpedoes so that's what we have um there's no there's no like defense or storage thing yet um i'm hoping that maybe when we actually build the fabricator module on that maybe that'll give us access to that that would be super cool but that's gonna be next episode next episode we are gonna focus on building our home away from home our mobile base if you will but we have got as far as i can see right now the up most upgraded prawn suit that i can get currently
and I'm I'm loving it. The only thing that maybe we could probably throw another another power cell deal in here, but honestly, with the, with that thermal reactor, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. I'm super excited. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, like subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, make sure you stuck you stick around because uh yeah we're gonna be mil we're we're gonna be making this guy home away from home. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be a thing. Until next time, you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.